stand for prayer? Let's pray. Dear wise and all-knowing God, first let us say thank you on behalf of all who are gathered here today. Thank you for many and abundant blessings, and thank you for life itself and for the measure of health that we need to fulfill our callings, for sustenance, and for friendship. Thank you for the ability that you've provided us to be involved in useful work. Help us to bear our responsibilities with honor and integrity and equity. May all that is said and done in this gathering be in accordance with your holy standards and with similar wisdom. Thank you for loving us so very much from your boundless and gracious nature. Let your will and purpose be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. Chamber of Commerce. As you may recall, the City of Manchester and the Chamber have formed a partnership for some economic development efforts. And I want to tell you how they're going. And the first step in this was to bring in a, a consultant. She specializes in working with rural communities. That's her passion. She has 30 plus years of economic development on a local, regional, and state level. So she came to Manchester last week. We had some very specific stakeholder meetings and this is what she told me. She said, you know, I come into communities all the time that don't have any assets. Manchester has more assets than you realize. So what she's gonna help us do is put together a plan, and not just a plan in theory, but a plan with actual action steps, trigger points, if something happens here, then this is what we're gonna do. And so the next phase of this is a community stakeholder survey. I really hope that all of you and really everybody in this room will participate. It's going to be available on the city site, on the chamber website, August 18th to 25th. After that, Lori Vincent, the consultant, will be back in town. And I want to invite everybody to participate in a town hall work session on economic development. We're going to have a very conversational meeting and here's the deal, everybody, everybody has an opinion about the future of Manchester, and every opinion is important. So as our leaders, I, I, I really hope that you're engaged and involved in this process. And so August 30th, 530, we're going to have a discussion with Lori, she's going to facilitate it, and from then, we're going to have this plan, we're going to own this plan, and we're going to work it to do great things. Thank you. Any more comments from the citizens? Okay, um, I'd like to uh, keep the family of uh, Dale Brandon, who lost his wife, and uh, the visitation is tonight, and the funeral service is tomorrow at 1 o'clock, and just, uh, I know he, he's really grieving, and just, uh, the word says, we comfort those who mourn, and, and just, just keep them, him and his family in, in the world. Okay, also, um, we'll get into the committee's safety. That's the report. Okay. Finance. 
we met last night and we've got a resolution that will be presented later under the resolution ordinances. Street? Well, first off, we're going to have a meeting that's next Wednesday, the 6th, the 10th, the night, on Monday night. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a, a, a ordinance in here that we're going to talk about sidewalks this month that came up from the street farm. Okay, water and sewer. We don't have a meeting this month, Mayor, but I would like to tell you all, as you all are aware, we purchase our water from Duck River Utility Commission and we resell that to our customers. Um, in that process, you have what's called water loss. The state of Tennessee wants you to be 20% or less uh, we just got through calculating they are last year's water loss and we're at 5.7%. Um, and I don't know of any other utilities um, that are that old. Most, most of the time, uh, the numbers were much larger. In fact, years ago, the numbers were 45, 50%. Uh, that's why the state instituted that rule. So I just wanted to share it. Thank you. Good news. Congratulations. Okay. Recreation. Next meeting will be uh, August 19th at noon at the Center. You did a good job. Chad, you want to Thank you. Uh, tourism? Yes, we um, had a meeting last week and uh, we have some publications from uh, South Central uh, Tennessee Tourism Association. Yeah. Well, <coughs> South Central Tennessee Tourism Association handled uh, the third media tour, and basically the way this works is we partner with the state of Tennessee, and they bring journalists down, and we take them to really cool places, and they write about it. Um, there was a publication about the, the Bonnery Farms that included Common John, um, and also some, you know, shenanigans up in Swanee. That went into a publication at the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Um, and that same tour also resulted in the publication of the National Scene. So um, the National Scene piece was really cool because it focuses on people in Nashville and it says if you've got a day to spend and you want to go eat somewhere outside of Nashville, here's the top 10 recommendations. And we had two uh, in the region that made that list. So just a cool thing that the state of Tennessee does locally <coughs> that will result in driving some people here. Thank you. Planning and zoning. Our next meeting will be on Monday, the 16th at 5.30. Thank you. <clears throat> Information system? Uh, nothing to report. Historical zoning? I don't think we met last month. I didn't meet with him if we did. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll get into um, resolution. First, I have a, a resolution being the physical development plan of the city of Manchester on J.C. Lane. Still allow rezoning of some problems. I hear a motion. So moved. I hear a second. Second. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Uh, Alderman Eagle? Aye. Second resolution meeting the fiscal development plan of the City of Manchester on Parity Lane. This is the lot behind the Foothills Crafts Building. Do you have your motion? So moved. Do you have second? Second. Any discussion? Well, this was discussed recently, right? The last meeting, basically, we rezoned it and then we're rezoning it back to our. Yeah. I think we zoned it back R4 to build a duplex or triplex or something. It's just R3. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. <clears throat> it was in there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. <clears throat> Resolution declaring official intent for reimbursement of certain capital expenditures is what Mr. Gibson mentioned in his presentation. Make motion. Second. Any, any more discussion on that? 
Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. Resolution adopted the plan of services to limit the annexation of 863100 acres of property owned, owned by Evans Lumber Company, LLC, located at 38 Hill, Bill Montana. Make your motion. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. We have a resolution proposing annexation by written consent of 863100 acres, more or less owned by Evans Lumber LLC, located in 3820 Old Oklahoma House. Do you hear a motion? Second. Second. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. And a resolution actually annexes the same property. Sure do. Second. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. The resolution adopted the plan of service preliminary to the of four and six point hundreds acres of property owned by Doug Pope and wife Rita Pope of almost 791 feet of Kimberly Lane, north of Hillsborough Boulevard. Second. Any discussion? Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Uh, Vice Mayor Messick? Uh, Alderman Elam? Uh, <coughs> resolution for annexation of that same four and six one hundred acres. Second. Second. Third. Any discussion? Hold on, please. Alderman French? Uh, Alderman Patton? Uh, Alderman Bellamy? Uh, Vice Mayor Messick? Uh, Alderman Elam? Uh, resolution annexation. Any discussion? Hold on, please. Alderman French? Uh, Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Uh, Alderman Elam? Uh, resolution authorizes the city to maintain Cypress Garden Cemetery. Second. Any discussion? Cypress Garden Cemetery. Prepare to go on the screen. Oh, okay. Any discussion? Yes. I want to thank uh, everyone involved in the research bringing that to us because um, that was extensive. Uh, Joni, the Grinnells had a big role in that and uh, that this would happen tonight if it's the right thing to do. Um, if you look back years ago um, and it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for Joni and uh, Roxanne went there on that. So I wanted to specifically thank them too and everyone else involved in Joni and other folks but I'm happy to do that. <clears throat> and even the attorney Gould is going to mow it until it's done. No, you told me not to. <laughs> <laughs> I went down there. Well, you better drop it. He's a serious secretary. Bug it. Thank you. Any discussion? Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. Resolution to install sidewalks in certain areas of the city of Manchester, Tennessee. I'll make a motion, second. In discussion. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? 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 Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Along Hill Chapel Road, um, from Oak Drive to Forest Wood Drive, which was an extension we've already we previously talked about. But this puts a funding mechanism for that. Um, along Coffee Street from Spring Street to Highway 55, and there's uh, a culvert there we're going to have to address. Jamie and George worked extensively on this, putting this together. Um, we, we put together a list, and they, it was a lot larger than this, but then we prioritized it down to these. Um, also, Oakdale Street to Wiley Street, uh, from along Oakdale Street from Wiley Street to Freedom Drive, along Madison Street, um, 
from US 41 to Coffee Street and from Oak Drive to Highway 55. All, from Highway 55 on Oak Drive all the way to Hills Chapel. So that would take it all the way up to the, <coughs> the Speedway intersection. But, but it's already mapped out which side of the road? Well, the side no, not exactly. No, well, so, not, yeah. Not that it matters. I mean, we know we're going down those roads, but we don't know yeah. what side. Do we, Scott? We have a good idea. We've yeah. assessed it and put cost estimates together, but until we get into the survey design, then it could change some of we have. Yeah. And, and we, we talked about that when it gets to the survey and design point. You know, obviously we're going to be cost optimal, but there may be some utility issues or something that we run into. But this this will be the single largest outside sidewalk project in the city of Manchester in a long time, and the timeline's pretty good with what's going on with the multi moment too. So this is this is a big deal in, in commitment to that. As Joe Biden would say, it's a big deal. <laughs> Thanks so another word. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. But the, the idea of this is that the child going to school will not have to walk on the side of the road anywhere in the city of Manchester to get to school once this is done. And, and I, I would, it's not a resolution and it's not something that's required, but I'd recommend now that in years to come, two to three years from now, we, we budget half a million dollars a year or an X, uh, an X amount every year to do sidewalks just like we do pavement. And not take it out of pavement. Yeah, not take it out of pavement. Yeah. And the other thing too, you know, uh, we ask developers in our community to develop sidewalks, we'll do, we'll do housing developments. If we're going to ask those kinds of things out of them, we need to show good faith on the other side of connecting those, which I don't think any of these do, it's a bad example. But it is a, it is a commitment to the sidewalks and, and make sure that we have them. And, and these these are the ones that are the highest traffic um, and also connect neighborhoods to places that you want to walk, like school or store or something like that. Any more discussion? Any questions? Okay. Okay. Aye. Alderman Hatton. Aye. Alderman Bellamy. Aye. Vice Mayor Messick. Aye. Alderman Dillon. Aye. Mm -hmm. That was very nice to have the board. First ordinance I have second reading ordinance the meeting title 14 chapter 6 which is one to the Manchester Municipal Code side meeting the zoning ordinance to amend that ordinance and zoning that by the real estate owned by Avera Patra and wife D. Ghosh. Uh, located on Perrigan Lane, he was on the R4 residential from R4 residential. Sure. Sorry. Any discussion? Okay. Oh, no. Thank you. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elo? Aye. Sick reading of the ordinance, amending the zoning ordinance and map to amend the ordinance. Second. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Hatton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. Second reading of the orders to amend the Manchester Municipal Code of the use of fireworks. Make a motion. Secretary Second. Second. Any discussion? What did we amend it from and when did we amend it to? Uh, is that it? It's about three days. Yeah. Yeah. Back it up three days. Yeah, that's right. I got you. Yeah, from the she 20th. Did. Yeah, from the okay. 20th of June to June 17th, so including the UT. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. First reading of the ordinance, zoning the Evans Lumber Company property auction. Second. Any discussion? Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. First reading on the zoning of the Pope Second. Any discussion? And just for the folks that are here, the reason we're quickly going to these is because this is literally what we just said. Right? Yeah. We're assigning the zoning to that, so it's not a, this isn't a slick. Quick thing. <laughs> this one. We don't vote. Say 
Alderman French? Aye. Uh, Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Uh, Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Uh, Alderman Elam? Aye. Uh, yeah, first grand motion to amend the lead circuit section to make this Mr. Coltart K obsolete unconstitutional otherwise unenforced. So, so we should go there. Come on, Give it a second. Say, I'll say. I'll be sorry. Any discussion? Any discussion? Come on, please. Alderman French? Aye. Alderman Patton? Aye. Alderman Bellamy? Aye. Vice Mayor Messick? Aye. Alderman Elam? Aye. Um, I don't have any old business. Any old business? New business? Okay. Um, yeah, um, just want to thank Scott and for the work on the refinancing. That stuff gives me a headache to read. It also keeps me up, so I will not read for a little bit. But I uh, just want to thank you on that. That's a, a lot of work and safe to see some of I just want to say thank you to all of you for supporting that resolution for South Star because it means a lot to the black community. Bob? I just like to compliment our employees. They're doing a good job. They're doing a lot with a little. I, I got a lot. So just hang on there, guys. Okay. First off, I want to compliment Kate and, and the, the Greater Manchester Economic Community Development Board. Oh, that's a mouthful, but you know these guys we found we established them a couple of years ago, and they kind of found them around, not knowing where to go. But they've got traction now, and they're working, and they're doing a great job in the city of Manchester. And I want to compliment. I want to thank Scott. And, and the Scott behind you is, is the, I mean, I thank you too, Scott, but uh, Scott and, Jer and uh, Jamie and all the people that help work on the sidewalk project because y'all put a lot of time in on that. And, and George, he's been part of it too. And that's that's kind of a big deal around here, I think. And, and I'm, proud, I'm proud to have people that are associated with our city that care enough about it to put the time and effort into doing something that's good for the community. I guess I'm out of thankfulness right now, so appreciate I'm good. Hey, um, yeah, I'm excited about the sidewalk. And and I will be praying that when when you get those right of ways that everything will go through. That those haven't been Whoever goes door to door, this gonna work out. <laughs> hey, you, both of you guys have got the personality to go door to door. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate each one of you coming tonight, and and um, and I will adjourn and get ready for the board. <laughs>